I think Shields has a lot to deal with, and sometimes it makes mistakes, but historically, it's done a great job of keeping the peace. I saw they were testing out a new version of the Super Soldier Serum, the same type of drug that gave me my strength and agility. During World War II, I volunteered for Operation Rebirth. It was a program for creating physically superior soldiers. I exceeded their expectations. Unfortunately, Dr. Erskine, the man who developed the drugs, was killed, and no one's been able to recreate his work. Without your aid, I never would have been freed. I would thank you and apologize to you. Long have I shown disdain for humans. Your people seemed weak and fearful to me. But now, it is humans who are rescuing the gods of Asgard. You have shown yourselves courageous and worthy of my respect. Has Tony Stark got it made or what? He's rich, he's a genius, and to top it all off, he's got the perfect mustache. Doctor Doom's in control of an army of supervillains, and the Black Widow is working for him. Are you off your meds? The only thing that would make this worse is if the Earth were destroyed to make way for an intergalactic highway. Hey, I've been at this superhero game long enough to know that the hot chicks always turn evil. Probably because evil pays better. Hi, kids. Welcome to a little pinball game I call Sudden Death. It's been a smashing success with everyone who's played it. May they rest in peace. And of course, I'll only run a fair game. So all you have to do is get one million points to win. How hard can that be? My hammer Milner was given to me after proving myself worthy over the course of several years. It is incredibly powerful, but there have been times when I needed other weapons. Take for instance when I battled the dark elf named Curse. His magical armor is actually a living part of him, and its only weakness is iron. When we fought, my only hope was to use a hammer constructed of that mineral. Thank you, my friends. I owe you my life. Loki, the god of mischief, played his ultimate trick. He has betrayed all of Asgard, and for that, he will pay dearly. I guess since we're all superheroes here, I can talk about it. Yes, I'm Matthew Murdock, the trial lawyer. That started when I was a kid in grade school. The bullies called me that because I was such a bookworm. I think they were trying to be ironic. My father was adamant that I study as hard as possible. He didn't want me to become a boxer like he was. Uh, yeah. Uh, the name's Jack Hammer. Uh, but you can call me Weasel. Everyone does. Yeah, and don't worry. I came in through the back. No one saw me. Uh, Wyatt Wingfoot gave me a damaged laptop. Said you heroes wanted to know what data was on it. Thanks to the butchers of the Weapon X program. I don't know much about my past. They messed with my head and coated my bones with unbreakable adamantium. All in the hope of turning me into the ultimate killing machine. Well, they were successful. I did a lot of killing as I escaped out of that madhouse. Eventually, I made my way to the X-Mansion. There, I found a home and a purpose with the X-Men. Well, if it isn't another enemy of my enemy, I've enjoyed saving the innocent from stray missiles and the like. But what I'd really like is a little chat with the worst of them all, Spider-Man. While I was testing experimental equipment in the foreign land, a booby trap went off, sending shrapnel into my heart. I woke up to discover I'd been taken prisoner. My captor refused to give me any medical attention unless I created new weapons for him. So in secrecy, I created a suit of armor with a built-in pacemaker that kept me alive. I wound up using the armor to help me escape. Target acquired. Target specification. Mutant. X-Man. Wolverine. My designation is Warstar. I am programmed to destroy the Omega base and anyone who would offer resistance.
The day my father Odin banished me from Asgard, I was bitten by a vampire and had radioactive waste dumped into my eyes. To make matters worse, my mutant ability to control weather activated just as I was hit by a blast of gamma radiation. Nah, actually I got this way by volunteering for the Weapon X program. They promised to cure my cancer, and they cured it all right, by giving me an outrageous healing factor. Then they labeled me psychotic and tossed me into a prison lab. All I ever wanted was to drive in a motorcycle stunt show and see my name, Johnny Blaze, in lights. But then... I made a deal with a creature known as Mephisto to save my stepfather's life. The deal fell apart, and my stepfather died. And the only thing that saved me from being taken away to Mephisto's realm was the love of a girl named Roxanne. Nice balance, glamour fans. You should all be fired on grounds of being weak. should have known better. My name is Electra, and I have suffered greatly in this life. After seeing my father gunned down, I joined a terrorist group known as The Hand. With that training, I became a freelance assassin and renewed a friendship with Matthew Murdoch. After dying at the hands of Bullseye, I was brought back to life so that I could become an assassin again. And had Matthew not saved me, I would still be a cold-blooded killer. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle, long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. It is the world where the honored dead of Asgard go. Here, the astral energy of the deceased exist, until Ragnarok. The courageous dead are escorted here by warrior women who appear over battlefields and take stock of the slain. The greatest of them is called Valkyrie. What's this? I dreamt my people were in danger and my realm was stolen from me. No, I'll not forsake my people in their time of need. Very well. I had not thought you surface dwellers were capable of such kindness. If you succeed, I will be forever in your debt. Surface dwellers! I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Hmm. Yes. Well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis. Pay homage to the might of Thor, son of Odin. Only by casting the elemental power of lightning upon this statue Shall you be deemed worthy to proceed through the wall of battle unhindered? If you're planning on torturing me, you're only proving what I've been saying all along. You metahumans are nothing but self-serving vigilantes. How do I know you didn't stage this whole event so that I'd be grateful to you? All right, all right. What should I do? Thank you. And I suppose I should apologize for my rude behavior. But you have to understand, a man in my position can't afford to trust anyone. Reed Richards, am I glad to see you. What the heck is going on around here? There was a huge explosion and then I couldn't open this door. I'm fine, Reed. I just hope they didn't damage any of my work. Wait a minute, did you say the Omega is under attack? 
This is terrible. If Doom can lay his hands on the experiments here, there's no telling what he'd be able to do. Those are the results of the Super Soldier program. Scientists are attempting to recreate the experiment that gave Captain America his super strength. So far, they haven't had much success. Before you go to the top, we got a couple of new concerns you might want to address. Security shows some very sensitive labs have been broken into. One lab contains a device known as the Neural Inhibitor, and another has plans that could be used to upgrade Ultron. To battle the great Crimson Dynamo. Back in the old days, a war hero such as I would be treated with respect and given worthy opponents. You impetuous fools! The armor I wear gives me the strength of a hundred men. You could no more stop me than you could stop a runaway freight train. Uh, now you have made me angry, and for that, I must break you. And it's got to be a droid, or worse yet, a clone. This is just another one of Doom's freakish experiments, and this time, he's gone too far. Don't be too hard on them, Psylocke. They aren't one of Lord Doom's chosen. Yet. If you really think that's so, then follow me, and you'll see what Lord Doom is capable of. So you decided to follow me down here? I can't say that was a wise tactical decision. It's just further proof that Dr. Doom is the ultimate power. He can't be beaten, so why not give up and save yourself the pain? Ah, they sent weaklings to battle the great Crimson Dynamo. Back in the old days, a war hero such as I would be treated with respect and given worthy opponents. Reed Richards, am I glad to see you? What the heck is going on around here? There was a huge explosion, and then I couldn't open this door. I'm fine, Reed. I just hope they didn't damage any of my work. Wait a minute. Did you say the Omega is under attack? This is terrible. If Doom can lay his hands on the experiments here, there's no telling what he'd be able to do. Those are the results of the Super Soldier program. Scientists are attempting to recreate the experiment that gave Captain America his super strength. So far, they haven't had much success. Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. But at the time, his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. This is not an unforeseen outcome. They now each get what they desire, without having to share the spoils with us. Can you use your power of mind control to get the elf to choose for us? An unfortunate outcome. Evidence suggests differently. Let us battle them! I believe these surface dwellers intend on destroying the sonic emitters, Krang. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. <laughs> and down the road, who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? Hello, my name is Black Widow. I am second in command to Colonel Fury. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message. He requested Colonel Fury visit the Omega base immediately for an update on the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan said Dr. Banner would give the report. The odd thing being Dr. Banner is not on the Super Soldier Project. Vile intruders! How dare you enter my throne room! I'll have your heads for this! My dear, dear sister is being questioned. And once we arrive at the homeworld, she will be placed on trial for crimes against the Empire, and then executed. I am Valkyrie, a chooser of the slain. My warrior sisters and I ride over battlefields and escort the worthy fallen to Valhalla. Here they are honored and can feast to their heart's content. Then, on the day of Ragnarok, they will battle once again and prove their courage one last time. He did pass through here on his way to battle. 
I don't know who he fought, but the very ground shook from the force of the blows. It has recently grown silent, and I fear all is not well for Odin. Welcome, and good day to you. I am Edwin Jarvis, personal butler to Mr. Anthony Stark. This area is where Mr. Stark carries out the research and development of his Iron Man suit. As you can imagine, the body armor has become so complex that a staff of technicians is required. You may walk around and inspect the facilities. I believe you'll already find several of your compatriots here. This is an outrage! How dare Loki and Doom leave us behind? I'll not stand for it! We'll just see about that. All we have to do is guess which spear is truly Odin's. That will open the barrier. It is all too simple for the master of magic. Go, elf. Choose a spear for your master, Baron Mordo. Oh, you must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. Yes, you see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. I've been a great many things during my life. I became Ms. Marvel after being subjected to a device created by the Kree. I've also been known as Binary after the Brood performed experimental procedures on me. And let's not forget when I went by the name of Warbird, after losing a portion of my binary powers. My people are being brainwashed by devices called Sonic Emitters. It's part of Atuma's scheme to steal the throne from my cousin. He's a barbarian chief who's always thought he was destined to conquer Atlantis. Looks like he might be right. Greetings, Storm! Arcade said one of the X-Men might come to save their brethren. Oh, but there is Storm. For I am Hassar, member of the elite Shi'ar Imperial Guard. And Arcade has ordered that I defeat whoever comes to save these two prisoners. The serum's only worked on Captain America. There's something very peculiar about his physique. That, plus the doctor who originally developed it, is dead. He'd wind up with a bunch of muscle-bound beasts, just like you saw in the Omega. They're psychotic, violent, and unable to take orders. Not exactly what you'd want from an army. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the S.H.I.E.L.D. database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? Hi, the name's Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. We'll be taking the Quinjet when you're ready to leave on a mission. Stark needed a pilot and he knows I've flown for the Fantastic Four, so I guess he figured I had the skills. I was roommates with Johnny Storm back in college. He introduced me to the group, and after a while, they started inviting me on missions. Heads up, men. Seems we got us a little challenge. That's what we get for taking out their big guns first. Now it's just a matter of dealing with the small fries. Now you're making me angry. Big mistake. Get them, men, and make them hurt real bad. What's this? Are you another illusion of Loki's? Will his thirst for vengeance upon us ever be sated? I should have known friends of Thor would come to our aid, but it shall not be so easy to liberate me. Two of my brethren are also imprisoned, Tyr and Heimdall. To break the spells which bind me, you must free them first. Go. Leave now and I will not harm you. I am honor-bound to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and that is Empress Deathbird. She has given me orders to destroy all invaders. Though it pains me, Lilandra is no longer on the throne. I take commands only from Empress Deathbird. 
Now please, go, or I shall be forced to use violence. Yeah, I gotta say, Mephisto's realm is not on the top of my must-see vacation spots. Hmm, let's think about this, shall we? I'm Iceman, and that's Lava World. Not exactly a winning combination in my book. Well, there have been times I've lost my powers because I got scared and just turned them off. Miss Frost says all my power problems are in my head. You fools! I can stop to wonder why S.H.I.E.L.D. has plans for Ultron. These plans are upgrades. The good guys want to capture Ultron, rewrite his programming, and turn him into a S.H.I.E.L.D. weapon. You'd be surprised what else S.H.I.E.L.D. is up to. But all I care about are these plans. Ultron wants them for the weapons upgrades. Yes, and in a couple of minutes. You're gonna be the ones who need saving. Not this time. We're more than ready for you now. Yeah, this bunch is gonna be too easy. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise, although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. I too have my share of surprises, for I am the Grey Gargoyle, and with but a touch, I can turn you to stone. What you want is of no importance, my friend. You have gone too far, and now you must pay the penalty with your life. Yes, but I would not be too proud. Vola never told us where the key was to unlock this trunk. What are you doing, humans? Don't tell me you're here to help Odin. You would dare to challenge us? How utterly insane. Greetings, humans. I am Triton. It is good to see you. Well, I must admit to a certain affinity for your kind, and I have faith you will be able to help us locate Medusa. I am an advisor to Black Bolt, and I was also one of the first Inhumans to leave the confines of Atalan. Unfortunately, that led to my capture by a film crew. Nine, do not open this door. It will cause Jean's cage to fall. Please. If you have any mercy in your heart, do not doom me to a life of guilt. Save Jean. Let me be the one to perish. I can't chat for long. Helping Professor Xavier is taking all my energy. He's created a number of barriers to keep Blackheart from getting to Nightcrawler. But Blackheart is slowly tearing them down. Without them, Blackheart would have gotten to Nightcrawler long ago. Since I can't use Cerebro at the same time as Professor Xavier, we decided it would be best for me to be closer to the shields. You never stood a chance, Xavier. Now both the X-Men are mine. As will be the rest of your team very soon. <laughs> Humans on a scroll world. No doubt you've come to try to save my kinsmen. Well, don't waste your time. They're not worth it. They forced me into the Super Skrull program, where I was tortured with medical procedures and drugs. The pain I endured was more than any creature should have to suffer. Ghost Rider, I'm surprised Xavier would send you to save one of the X-Men. You're an overconfident fool, Johnny. But you've got spirit. I'll give you that. You're in over your head, child. Leave, or you'll be forced to battle Baron Mordo. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us near the throne. Yeah! 
We certainly showed Vola, didn't we, Kirk? Give me a boulder, and we'll have no need for a key. <laughs> the gods must truly be defeated to need allies such as these. You're going to regret coming here. You were way out of your league here. This is going to be very painful. Hulk agrees. You are too weak to fight Hulk. Hulk done smashing this one. Hulk always wins! You were too puny to fight Hulk! No one speaks to Enchantress like that. You will be silent, God of Thunder. Or I will silence you! Hey, Bet you didn't expect to see me here. And here I was hoping that we could be friends, Electra. But you always have to go and push my button. You've got it backwards, hun. You're the one who's the target, and we both know I never miss. End of the line, losers. I'm gonna flatten you into the dirt. Are you trying to make me mad? Because that's exactly what you don't want to do. That does it. When I'm done, there won't be enough of you left to fill a thimble. Whatever you say. All I ever wanted to do was get into space. I studied very hard and invested a lot of my family's fortune into building a rocket ship. But when the project was about to be shut down, I boarded the ship along with Ben Grimm, Sue Storm, and her brother Johnny. Just when we made it to outer space, we were quickly hit by a radiation storm that caused us to crash. Then we discovered the radiation had changed us, given us superpowers. And that is how we became the Fantastic Four. Well, the leader of our team is my husband, Reed Richards, who's also known as Mr. Fantastic. Then there's his best friend, Ben Grimm, although most people call him The Thing. Next is my brother, Johnny Storm. He likes to be called the Human Torch. And then there's me, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. It all started on the day that Reed Richards decided to test his rocket ship before the government could shut the project down. My sister Sue and I went along as crew, while Reed was co-pilot and Ben Grimm was the pilot. Once we left the atmosphere, our ship was hit by a freak radiation storm and it crashed back to Earth. That was when we discovered that the radiation had changed us, given us superpowers. Greetings, human. My name is Hermod, and I bring bad news. The Bifrost Bridge is under attack by the Wrecking Crew. I would ask that you travel across the bridge and open the gate to Midgard. Then additional reinforcements will be able to join us. Bifrost is also known as the Rainbow Bridge. It's the only permanent pathway between Asgard and Midgard, or Earth as you call it. My real name's Ben Grimm, but most people call me The Thing, on account of how I look. You see, I let my best buddy, Reed Richards, talk me into flying his spaceship. But we wound up getting caught in a radiation storm and came crashing back to Earth. Such insignificant creatures. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. Indeed, and they will pay for their transgressions. Your devotion to Namor is pitiful, surface dwellers. He is lost, and as foretold in the Atlantean Chronicles, I will be the ruler of Atlantis. How dare you enter my throne room, surface dwellers. Kneel before the King of Atlantis. Look, Atuma. These must be the ones who've been causing you so much trouble. Don't worry about these idiots, Atuma. Your loyal minions are more than happy to take care of them. I'm not about to face the Atlanteans after what we did. It was the Masters of Evil. They helped Atuma in return for letting them take whatever they wanted from the catacombs. You ain't saving anyone, punks. How about it? 
You looking forward to a little molten hot steam bath like your buddy Tear is getting? Go no further, humans. I am Starbolt, a member of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard. You stand in defiance of Empress Deathbird. I know. I was one of the guards who helped her gain power. And I have no intention of letting her lose it. So, still you persist in this foolish quest of attacking me in my palace? Very well then. I will unleash my latest creation, the Ultima Mark II. Correct. Its enriched titanium casing is laced with vibranium, and the servo motors are 300% stronger than the previous model. So you see, it will be quite impossible for you to destroy this robot. You are too late. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. All right, Hussar. Humans are such inferior creatures. We are Imperial Guards, loyal to Empress Deathbird. But we could have dealt with even the mighty Guardian, just as we're going to deal with you now. You buffoon! I am not your grandfather. I am the Ancient One, teacher of Doctor Strange. Yes, I am quite certain I am not related to you, you idiot. Please be silent! I know you heroes have banded together to battle the masters of evil. Let Doctor Strange know that I will be watching over you. Hello, I am Wong, Doctor Strange's assistant. This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies and is the home of my teacher, Doctor Strange. This is where Doctor Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. I would warn you. Mephisto's realm is a vile dimension. Few that have traveled there ever return to tell the tale. Our own Doctor Strange, the mightiest sorcerer on Earth, barely escaped that fiery land with his life. You truly are an amazing group of humans. Thank you for saving me and my ship. The Shi'ar Empire is in your debt. Name your reward. No payment is too great for what you have done today. Then by all means, when you find the Macran Crystal, you may help yourself to a shard of it. Colonel Fury sent me to aid you in battling my old master. But first, allow me to use the Power Cosmic to heal you. The Inducer is what powers the three machines. But you won't be able to get to it until Galactus is out of the way. It would appear the masters of evil have enlisted alien animals. My powers will be more than a match for this beast. My power is quite beyond sorcery. I control the elemental power of the universe myself. I was orphaned early on in life, and spent the remainder of my childhood as a thief on the streets of Cairo. At the age of 12, I began a long journey south through Africa. Along the way, I crossed the Sahara and nearly died of dehydration. This awoke my mutant ability to control weather. We have the largest deposit of vibranium in the world. To open our borders would be an invitation to those who would conquer us. Over the centuries, fools have tried. But the Black Panther is always there to stop them. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you 
are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Dr. Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. How in blazes did I get here? And speaking of that, where is here? What would a loser like Arcade want with me? Doom, huh? Any idea what he's up to? Now this is starting to sound interesting. Tell you what, I'm joining the team. If you need me, just let me know. Cause there's nothing I'd rather do than take down Victor Von Doom. Donnie Storm! I don't know if you're incredibly brave, or just plain stupid to come here without the rest of the Fantastic Four. You are an impetuous boy, and today I am going to teach you why I am known as the Power Scroll. You are no match for my biogenetically engineered powers. The name's Cage. Luke Cage. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna remember me after I kick your tails all over Bifrost. Oh, I've seen plenty like you before. Big, strong, and not too bright. Is that a fact? Well, this should be fun. Because I've never had the opportunity to beat the daylights out of a god before. School's in, all right. But I'm the teacher. And you're about to learn a very painful lesson. What are you doing here, humans? Are you the ones who brought Galactus down upon our world? Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the humans. The name is Gorgon. I am in charge of Atalan's military. But don't think I got the job just because I'm cousin to King Black Bolt and his insane brother. Maximus is a telepath who's tried to take the throne of Atalan a number of times. Once he even staged an uprising of the Alpha Primitives. But don't worry, I have him safely locked up in the maze. <sighs> I have a question for you. My sister Medusa had traveled to Earth in search of the ultimate nullifier to defeat Doctor Doom. But we haven't heard from Medusa in quite some time, and we aren't certain where she might have gone for the device. She's either at the Baxter building S.H.I.E.L.D. Headquarters, or Muir Island. Would you mind asking Dr. Pym where the Ultimate Nullifier is being kept? It took you long enough to get here. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Our minds aren't twisted. We now realize that Lord Doom is the ultimate power in this galaxy. And in serving him, we are granted abilities far beyond anything we had previously known. Go ahead. Follow Cyclops if you want, or stay here and face me. Either way, you're going to have to fight us both sometime. I had gone to Muir Island in hopes of locating the ultimate nullifier, but I soon discovered Doom was waiting for me. He had known someone would seek to use the nullifier against him. I foolishly attempted to battle him, but in a blinding flash of light, it all became clear to me. Doctor Doom is invincible and all-powerful. So, you disarm my bombs, old man? You always were lucky. Who else could have survived falling into the ocean and then be thawed out decades later? It's my mission. And as I remember, missions were always the most important thing to you. No matter who had to die to accomplish them. I welcome you to Atalan. My name is Karnak. My gift is the ability to see the weakness in anything. A plan, an item, even a person. Which explains why I'm part of my cousin's council. Can't say I care much for being in this big pinball machine. But I do like being paid to bust up you freaks! Oh, you're a real laugh riot, you know that? But we'll see who's laughing after I've shattered every bone in your body! Little is right! What fun are they gonna be? I wanna fight more gods! 
that would be due to the entropy device I've developed. You will remain immobile for as long as I hold this button. I'm afraid you have no other options. Now, to keep things interesting, you'll receive an electrical shock for every incorrect answer you get. Let's begin, shall we? That petty tyrant has been defeated and is now in the control of Dr. Doom. Ah, oh, what a battle that was. The look upon Odin's face will long be a treasured memory. Once again, luck has been on your side, for that can be the only reason you have survived this long. But my latest creations will finally put an end to all that. Silence! I have heard enough of your prattle. Now, I will obliterate you once and for all.